For me, um, hearing other people speak to their Māori, especially people who aren't Māori, and I know lots of people who aren't Māori that speak to their Māori, I, I, I get hit with this really mega wave of uh, pride, uplifting uh, spirituality, I guess. Um, so for me, it, it's really uplifting for me as a person to hear my mother tongue, because I speak it as a first language, um, reflected back to me. <laughs> well, um, I, I've pretty much only sang in Te Reo Māori and up until recently. I've sung more into Te Reo Māori uh, than I have in English. And I think for me, uh, singing in English is really weird. <laughs> uh, and I've sung in Hawaiian and I've sung in Rarotongan and in Tahitian before I even touched English um, songs. So for me, singing in Māori is normal. Okay, um, kareka. <laughs> kareka. When something is like um, really, really good, um, like um, you like really want this uh, poison berry ice cream, so you get that poison berry ice cream and you eat that poison berry ice cream and you go, oh, kareka. <laughs> My thing is, I, I love traditional um, Māori music, um, so ancient chants, and, and my favourite one at the moment that I'm singing with my kids is a chant called um, Pine Pine Te Kura, uh, which was a rewrite uh, by uh, Prophet Te Koti Arikirangi, and he wrote that in 1888. <laughs> Nui, 